<laughs> That's kind of cool. I'll just stay behind here, the IOD. Okay, let me turn on this music. I want to get started here. All oh, music. Please turn off. Stop. There we go. Hey, how about I just do some art behind this IOD stock screen right here? <laughs> let me out. Let me out. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Wait, just kidding. Um, let me get rid of this overlay. Happy Sunday night, everybody. Um, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been very busy. Life has been very busy. I have a senior graduating, so that means um, and end of school year things and anyways lots of stuff just going on and here I am on a Sunday night some time on my hands and I'm like I haven't done any art in an incredibly long period of time what should I do and I'm looking around I've got like five started projects uh, and I've got I'm not kidding I'm counting at least 25 unstarted projects um but, and then I get stuck and I'm kind of like a deer in headlights and don't know where to start. So I thought what I would do tonight is I would start with um, this project right here, which I'm not done with. It is from um, the Transfer Cheers. And you can kind of see it's got the pretty wine bottle here. It's, uh, this is a transfer, these wine spills. And then the, these wine glasses. So I thought I would come in and take up a little bit more of the white space in here. It's, I've been letting it sit for a couple of weeks, one, because busy, and two, because I felt like it needed a few more things. So um, um, let me show you, if you haven't seen the transfer yet, what I am thinking about doing here. Um, for those of you that are uh, new to me, welcome to my my YouTube channel or my Facebook page, wherever you're watching me at. I am Sharon and I am an IOD stock, stockist. I am an artist. I'm a mom. I'm, I work full time on top of doing this. Um, I do all kinds of things. <laughs> but anyways, tonight what I'm doing is taking some time for myself and doing some art because it's either drink a lot of wine or maybe just do some art with wine. <laughs> so if you're watching, let me know where you're watching from. If you uh, are on the replay, hit replay, let me know. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. So like I was saying, um, this transfer came out, I think it's been like a month now. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. Um, I started on this board. I want to fill in the white space. Um, my ultimate vision for this, I originally was thinking about hanging it on the wall. These are actual like wood slots right here. But now I'm thinking about like putting handles on either side so that you could have it at a table and put your wine bottles and glasses on top. Like it could be part of an outdoor bar. I'm not sure yet. I haven't gotten there yet. It would be cute in the wall. It could be cute on the table to hold your wine. So um, let me show you what I'm choosing from as I look through this. Um, so wine label, super cool, but not enough room right here, I don't think. And I want something more action oriented. There's some corkscrews in here we're going to get to. Um, so more wine labels, cute stuff. So this is the page I'm thinking about taking some ideas from and transferring on. So I'm gonna take that out. There are more, more wine glasses, more wine spills. And then I actually have um, some really pretty grapes, more corkscrews, maybe I want more corkscrews. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think grapes fit in with what I wanna do here. So, but some pretty stuff going on here need to package these up a little bit better so I can keep reusing them. All right, so here we go. We've got some space-wise, I want something smaller than the, 
smaller than the wine glasses, but bigger than the corks. So uh, that's probably going to be these three right here actually look pretty perfect for it. And so I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to figure out where to put them. I think the other question is, do I want the verbiage that goes along with the cork? Jeez, I don't think so. But let's cut around here. There's something on my scissors. Oh, it's probably something from an earlier adventure in cutting. <laughs> OK, so I'm cutting these three out. If you haven't used transfers before and this is your first time watching, let me know because I will give you more, more details than um, what I normally would. Uh, transfers are essentially, some people call them decals. They are not decals. They are much more finer than decals. They're not like thick. When I rub my hand over these right here, like I can't, I can tell a change in surface, but not a change in thickness so it, it's transferred right on top I guess is the best way to describe it okay so now I've got some corkscrews and thinking I, uh, I do enjoy my wine probably enjoy it too much <laughs> okay uh, there's a time in your life to enjoy wine. It is certainly about the time. All right. Give me one second. I've noticed I have something sticky spilling off camera. And I do not want to deal with that right now. So I'm just, uh, I don't want to deal with sticky stuff later. So I'm just taking a moment off camera to wipe this down. And then I have some top coat I need to put on top of this when I'm done. So the top coat spilled on this bottle somehow. Okay, so here we are back again. I've got a corkscrew here. Uh, if you're new to transfers, um, they come with this grid on it. So if you want to line it up like with letters or along a straight line, uh, the guides are there to help you. Um, so I'm thinking, let's see. Hmm. I don't know, I kind of feel like this board is kind of old school. This might be just like a little bit too, uh, I don't know, too modern. What do you guys think about that? So I've got corkscrew here, the cork, do up here, and then you can't see it down here, but let me get rid of this obnoxious banner here. Let's see, there we go. And then these two down here, maybe my area is kind of crowded. I could do the quick screw right here. Still kind of crowded. I'm gonna put some more quirks right here and then put this up here, something like that. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. Oh. Hey, let's get this wine party started. So when you're working with these transfers, I'm gonna just tilt my camera up a little bit right here. Um, I'm gonna keep both of these. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut these little cork sacks. I'm not sure where exactly I want them to go, but it's probably not looking like they're exactly placed anywhere specific. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put this one here. And so the way that transfers work is that you peel away the back. And so here's the back of a transfer. Um, this has some adhesive on it. I have a top coat on here already. Um, so it should lay down pretty, pretty fast and simple. Um, I'm liking this composition, so it's 
We're going to go up. Well, one of the things kind of energy pointing towards the wine bottle. Okay, now I want to move it a little bit away from the wine glass. A little bit up. Mm, no, I don't like that either. <laughs> uh, I probably should have figured it out a little bit better before I went into it, but maybe it's, maybe it's this. Okay, now we are talking. I do like that more. Okay, so I'm going to go with this. And now that I know this is where I want to place it, I'm, I'm just pushing it, giving it a little bit of a smoothing out of my hand. And then you get one of these, um, they're like these little plastics. Um, they're not like sticks because they're not round, but um, you use them to rub the transfer on, like I'm about to show you. That noise is the noise of a transfer happening. Okay. Oh, shit. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Let's see if you can see it. I can fix this, but there's a, a crack right here. And I'm probably going to need, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you a little trick. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. But first, so I don't know if you can see. I can't bring the camera down, but there is in right along here, the transfer was not being careful and holding it down. So it's my fault, but there's this little crack right along in here. You can see it on the camera. That's what, that's what it looks like. But what I'm gonna show you, I'm sorry, let this down a little bit, is a way to, uh, way to, uh, gosh, you know what? You might just have to come in here with some paint, some like brown paint. That's gonna be too noticeable though. So I need to put something else and cover this area up over here, which is an unexpected event. So maybe I'm gonna be adding some flowers <laughs> moving forward. And uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I know that I don't wanna leave that crack yet because that's too noticeable and it looks like a mistake because it is a mistake. Some mistakes are just hard to cover up. Okay, now I'm gonna get this transfer down. I want this one. I want this one over in here. Try and do this one without cracking it. That's my cat, if you're hearing strange wheezing noises. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that there. And then I can do like a wine cork coming in. Okay. This is not wine, even though it kind of looks like it. It is uh, hibiscus tea. Yum, yum. Okay, let's get this transfer on. Going to be a bit more careful this time. I do have, um, if, I have if we have time, I'm going to go too, too far off the beaten path here. And I do have another little project I could show you guys that. Um, I need to fix something else before I move on. Let's see, get in there. I guess this is gonna be like a fix it kind of show. All right, now this one did not crack. 
there is a space in between the bars here. I am gonna do that there. I'll do it up here too. Um, Cause it would just break if I didn't go in there and do it. Let's see. This one right here might actually be on top of, no it's not, okay. All right, that's cute. Let's get a cork over here. It'd be good to have kind of going off. I don't have anything else going off the edge. I'll move that back in just a little bit. Oh, you know what? Maybe I do bring grapes in up here. Do some grapes here and some grapes up here and have the grapes covering. Thing. I don't know. Think, Sharon, think. All right. Ouch. All right, that looks pretty darn cute. And move this up so you can see it a little bit better how it goes down like this. And then thinking down here, put in a few more. See so us get over there. What do you guys think? Pretty cute, huh? If you're watching, let me know where you're watching from. And if you've seen the Cheers transfer before. Funny story about the Cheers transfer is when you try to sell it online, Google thinks you're trying to sell alcohol and it does some googly things to stop you from trying to sell alcohol. <laughs> I have to go and write Google and let them know that this is actually not wine, that this is uh, a transfer which is falls underneath their art supplies category. So got to get that done this week because I think Cheers is the only transfer of mine that, uh, from the latest product release that hasn't been selling that well. And thanks, Google. <laughs> All right, I only got these two down here. All right, so I've got that down there. Oh, it's okay. Now I'm thinking it's looking kind of good white space wise. I do have to figure out how to fix this up here. I'm thinking some brown, brown paint or I wonder if I could just do black or I don't want to put flowers. That's going to change everything. All right. Well, I'm going to cover this up a little bit with um, a top coat and I'm going to think about how I want to fix this part over here. Um, I suspect I'm going to get some brown paint and paint that in there. Um, or, you know, the other thing I could do is, let's see, I was thinking, bless you kitty. I see I don't have any, I don't have anything overlapping here. So like if I were to put the cork on top, that would look kind of funky. But, um, and I don't have any more cork. But I wonder if I like cut the cork and put it on top of this, if it would look, I don't know, like it's supposed to be there. <laughs> Let's see what happens. All right, we're gonna try this. If it doesn't work, then I'll figure something else out. But, okay, I'm gonna say, see like these two lines right here could just look like, like it's supposed to be there. Like it's a part of a design on the cork. All right, let's see if we can fake this. That's one of the things I like about IOD is it's really hard to mess something up permanently. The other thing too about this is that it's not like, well, you guys will know if you were to come across this at a store somewhere 
that, oh, look, there's that little spot she kept going on and on about. But like somebody who's never seen this before might come across this and just think, not probably won't even notice it. I think this actually might work. Let's see. A transfer on top of a transfer. They are buildable transfers after all. Let's see. Can it go down? No. Come on. Don't embarrass me on TV. All right, did I make it better or did I make it worse? <laughs> I don't know. Can you guys tell? Can you see? It definitely looks different, different texture, but it looks almost on purpose to me, at least. That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> um, it looks kind of almost like a band around the around it. So I am going to top coat this, and I'm going to see what it looks like in a few days after my eyes have rested from it, and see if I am happy with it. Not 100% sure. Now I'm happy with it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have top coat. Um, if you don't know what a top coat is, but it's the coat of stuff you put on top of your artwork so that it is protected and doesn't come peeling off. Um, I am using Big Top After Show Top Coat and Transfer Finish. So kind of the perfect thing to use for this. Um, if this does uh, make it as an outdoor piece, like for people to um, set their cocktails on and glasses of wine, uh, it will help protect it from any drunkenly spills, things like that. Not that that would ever happen when you're drinking wine. So give me a minute here. I'm going to put this on. Um, I don't usually do top coats because I think it's kind of boring, but I really do want to see this through tonight. And I am going to be painting like the whole board because I want the whole board to be protected. And who knows, I might, I might just come back in and put flowers or grapes on something. Who knows? Um, and this top coat will only make that easier to do. I haven't used top coat in a long time. Kind of missed it. It is a really awesome top coat. I also have some liquid patina here from DIY and some dark and decrepit, which I have never tried before. So I am looking forward to that. Trying out at some point. Kind of wishing I had some wine right now. <laughs> uh, I had to get up and work tomorrow, so I need a good night's sleep. Kind of discovering at this point in life, if I have a glass or two of wine, I just I wake up at two o'clock in the morning and I can't get back to sleep. But if I don't have any wine, guess what? I sleep great the whole night through. All right. This top cut's especially going to be important for these fine lines and the little lettering here. We want to make sure that's la um, labeled, that this is has a good protective coat on top of it, or else it could just go flying off. Well, not flying off. It could rub off easily if somebody were to use this as a... Uh, uh, like a tape, something on a table to hold drinks and wine and things like that. We don't want that.
if you're watching this, you can probably fast forward to the next exciting thing I do. <laughs> if you've watched this far, I do want to get I do want to get this done. So it's going to be a few more minutes here putting on the top coat and me rambling, which I know not everybody will be thrilled watching, but that's okay. Kind of going back to what I said at the beginning of the of this show is that I haven't finished things in a long time and I could call this done after this top coat. So I would like to get something done tonight and entertain you at the same time if possible. It's looking up there. Maybe. It kind of settled a little bit. There we go. Did anybody do anything fun this weekend? Did you get out and enjoy any good weather? See some relatives? Anything interesting? I went to the great junk hunt yesterday in Salem, Oregon, and honestly, I didn't think it was that great. It's kind of boring and predictable. There weren't too many cute, cool, unique, vintage items there. There was like a lot of those, uh, like, um, Modern, modern farmhouse, whatever, like the cutesy signs that you see, like, take off your shoes and don't pee on the wall, or whatever they, whatever the signs say, but, um, but there was, like, nothing really exciting. I was kind of disappointed because we drove over an hour to get there, and um, I got early bird tickets, so that cost a little bit extra, and I ended up not getting anything. I ended up Actually, well, not nothing for my business. I I did find some cute new tops, so I did get those cute cute new tops. Sorry, I'm realizing I'm painting off screen here. Um, yeah, I got some cute tops, and uh, I call them my Mrs. Roper tops. If you remember Three's Company, and if you remember Mrs. Roper, I think it's kind of like something I picture she would wear in today's world. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, I got a couple of tops, and then my husband and I came back home, and we went to our favorite antique store, which is right here where I live, called Camas Antique Store. Um, awesome store, two stories, lots and lots of booths, lots and lots of different vendor styles, lots of different things to appreciate in there. Hi, Kitty. And so we hung out there, and then we went out and had lunch, and then my old boss called. And he, um, he and his family are moving overseas, and they're pretty much getting rid of a ton of stuff. And he was like, are you still upcycling furniture? Do you want to come check out um, some of the stuff I'm giving away? And I was like, hell yeah. So we hopped in the car, and we went, um, it was like a 20-minute drive, and we drove down to see my little boss and walked through, and I got um, some really two great pieces of furniture for free. And I got, um, my husband got a couple of books. Hey Katie, I'm on a show, you gotta be quiet. And I got, um, we'll be going back for more furniture. They have like a cute bedroom set, but I know I just need the bedside table. So if they have those left over, I'll be going back for those. And then I will be, Something else we're gonna go. Oh, we had a piano. I don't think we can get the piano here cheaply or tuned cheaply. So no piano. And then uh kind of seems like we got something else from there too. Uh oh we got a we got uh the thing you put a pizza on, a pizza around or something like that. Anyways. Uh but gosh, can you imagine just uh Picking up, moving overseas, retiring and moving overseas. What that would be like, that's, that's, a, that's a lot to figure out. <laughs> and it's a, 
it's a decision, at least for me, I would want to be pretty darn confident about it being the right decision at that point in my life because it's not the good right decision. What happens if you're like, you know, in your 60s and you're overseas and you've discovered, well, you know what, expat is not the life for me. But my old boss is pretty thorough in his research and has probably mapped it out very well and has it all planned. So he's probably not asking the same questions I'm asking, which is, is this a good decision? <laughs> he probably knows it's a good decision. All right, almost done here. Thanks for sticking around this long if you have. It's gonna feel good to have a top coat on this. I am getting ready, it's spring now, and I am getting ready to move into the garage where I do move in the summertime I call it my summertime studio because it's warm enough to be in there, but I like to go and get some big pieces done, some big pieces of like bureaus and armoires and stuff like that. And I'm dying to get out there with some of the new inlays and work on those out in the garage and on some big pieces. So that's coming up very soon. I will not be broadcasting from in here. Most likely I'll be broadcasting and showing you guys big pieces of furniture, what I'm doing on them and stuff like that. That's what I've been doing for years and that's definitely where my passion is. All right, I'm almost done here. Let's see. I just wanted to go one more time over these letters because I'm guessing that they are going to be very delicate. Almost done here. Okay. Well, this will now need to dry. And just wrap my I got my brush here. I forgot to get some water, so I'm gonna give it a quick wipe off with a baby wipe. I'm gonna wrap it up to keep it moist until I get to the sink with it. Put on my top coat and move this off the side. And I think we've got time for just some of the, for some molding if you guys are up for it and you want to stick around. I'm going to do it regardless and we just Move this over here. Get down to dry. Oh, I know I want to show you guys. I want to show you a mistake I made. Well, not a mistake. <laughs> there are no mistakes. Yeah, well, sometimes <clears throat> there are miscalculations of how things should look. So I did this a couple of weeks ago. Um, I think I did it during a lot, but. Um, this this is the new um, the new frame. Do not be alarmed by the the immense enormous cracks in here. I made a mistake when I was putting clay into these molds. So um, when I put clay into the mold and then I transferred it down, I should have. It's a it's a lot of clay, and when it dries. It, um, if it's glued down when it's still drying, it's the glue is going to hold it down, and when it dries, it um, shrinks a little bit because it's drying, and then you get these cracks in here. So I, I don't want these cracks. I want the cracks in this one actually. Um, I'm going to do something fun and funky with that, but this is just way too much for me. 
So I've got my clay here. I'm going to fix this so that I can use it. Um, you can kind of see I started off a little bit here. I've got um, some clay that I'm going to make into like a long shape here. And I'm going to tuck it in with a tool. Uh, well, kind of my Here we go. So I want the clay to go down into that crack and dry because I need a little bit more. Um, I don't. I don't want all th this too much cracking for me. I probably could come up with something weird with it, but I'm just not in the mood to have to deal with that. I want to do some de decoupage over this. Um, a decoupage will definitely cover up this part in here where there are a lot of cracks, but it's not going to be able, you can't put decoupage over like a big crack like that. It's just going to crack itself. So I do not want that. So I'm just tapping this down in here. And I'm going to smooth it just a little bit. And then when I'm ready for some, when it's dry, I'll, I'm gonna put decoupage. Um, I think I've got more bunnies, but I also have some cool little, like a stork and some goldfish I might put in here. So I'm just making these, whoops, tiny little, rolls of clay right here. Push it in there. Okay. And this in here is actually, that was a pretty good crevice. halfway tempted to get like some trimmings and just put it in here, but I'm just gonna fill it in more. Okay. And now when this dries and I put some decoupage over it, um, I'll have these cracks here on the outside, which I want, but the inside, does this doesn't need to look pretty since I'll be covering it up, but it does need to be able to hold the decoupage when I put it down. So I'm gonna let this dry for now. So there's that. And I think we're at about oh, 40 minutes. That's plenty of time. I'm gonna call it quits. Well, I'm gonna keep on working on stuff. I'm gonna call it a, a, a night with you guys. Thank you very much for tuning in and I'll be scheduling some more lives on a regular basis. Uh, probably won't be until maybe, now that I'm thinking about it, just with all the end of the school year stuff I have coming up and some big projects at work. So I'll be on Facebook, I'll jump on and off here every once in a while, and then probably come like late May, early June, um, I'll have some more regularly scheduled lives. So you can come see what I'm doing in my studio and how I'm transitioning from this very small indoor space to an outdoor space where I can throw paint wherever and not give a you know what. So anyways, have a lovely evening and I'll talk to you guys later. And broadcast. There we go. Bye. Please say goodbye.